Hello, Mr. Hull, here on the treaty territory of the Tlaman people. Tonight, talking about resilience. This is a topic that, interestingly enough, uh, very important. Not just for kids, not just for creating bully-free zones in our schools, but also for personal wellness. Right? As, as an adult, there are times when my resilience is low, right? So the things that I want to talk about tonight uh, are things that are good for all of us. But in particular, we're going to talk about why it's important for our kids and how is it that we can build, right? So resilience, why is it important? Resilience is about the idea of even when hard things happen, that we can carry on, right? That we have the inner strength. So when we talk about building resilience in children, we need to look at aspects of their lives, our lives, that we can strengthen. So for example, strengthening belief in self, right? Whether that's the ability to accomplish something, right? We can do that through setting goals and achieving those goals. When we know that when we set our mind to something, we can do that. We can believe that. But until we actually set a goal and then accomplish that goal, we don't know it. Right? Sports and physical activity. When we get in there, we work hard, we work with others, we learn to cooperate, we learn to, to work as a team. That can build that resilience in knowing that we ourselves have the ability to do something. And that way, when we have that belief in ourselves, when other people try to convince us against that or try to convince us that something like that is not true, we are able to stand up to it. We are resilient. Right? Other places, art and creativity, music and performing arts, which was one for me. Growing up, I loved music. It was a place for me to go. Uh, my mom used to always say that she knew how my day went at school based on how I would come home and play the piano. Now, I'm not spectacular. I taught myself how to play. But I would come down and it was a hard day. I would bang away at the keys and I'd pick specific songs. And then usually within 15 or 20 minutes, the music changed and she could sense a calmness in the way that I sang, in the way that I played. Music and the performing arts were a way for me to build resilience because it was an outlet for me and it was something that made me feel good. Mindfulness and yoga, now we're dealing with the idea of switching on the inside, right? Recognizing the power of self and strength of self that we have in our mind and, and as well in our body, in our spirit, and our soul. So mindfulness and yoga are a great thing to teach kids so that they can take a step back in a difficult situation. Take a breath and breathe it out. When we give them those skills, we allow them to not have those emotions, the big emotions especially, take over what we're doing. Problem solving games. This is a way that we can engage with our kids, right? Whether it be, uh, what do they call those? The, the lock spaces where you'll go and try to find your way out. Um, and I'm terrible at those. And I'm not going to lie. I get in them and I get all freaked out. But that's an activity that you can do with your kids uh, so that you can help them build that sense of self, that accomplishment reading and storytelling, volunteer work, all of these ideas that you can see here on the slide, these are ways that when we work with our kids, we can help them know that they are powerful, that they are awesome. They're amazing. And we can tell them that. But until we can convince them that they are and that they can believe those things, they will always feel less than and that there'll be people in their lives, whether it's, again, this sense of bullying or just kids finding their way through life, doing perhaps not winning at the human game, they'll continue to struggle, right? So we want our kids to have that sense of self, sense of knowing, sense of belonging. And these sorts of activities, among others, can help them build that. They can be strong. They can know that they're awesome. And that way other people can't change their mind. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.